uh, of a uh, senior uh, Conservative, the former Conservative Cabinet Minister, Sir John Knott. He was uh, Margaret Thatcher's Defence Secretary at the time of the Falklands conflict. Welcome uh, to you indeed. And, uh, what do you make of what's going on in your party? I assume you are still a Conservative member. Yes, I am. I, I hope I won't be the last me member of the Conservative Party. But um, there we are. Um, I, I find the whole thing extremely tedious. Um, it's going on and on and on. And I support Boris Johnson because I think he's the most likely man uh, to get us out of Europe on the 31st of October. I, I, I don't think uh, that um, Hunt, wh whom I like, who's a good man, I, I think he's a typical foreign office man. He may, he make a good foreign secretary and he will negotiate, he'll go round and round and round and always try to seek a compromise. There's no compromise in this situation. The European Union are not going to talk very seriously with us again. It's going to be a no deal and that's the best, best way for this country to get out of this thing quickly. There's so much uncertainty. That there's, we have to get out of Europe now. We must get on with it. See, the problem is you say it's going to be no deal. Boris Johnson's not saying that. And, no. and this is the issue. He's trying to become Prime Minister and yet he's not even agreeing with his supporters as to, as to what he's going to do about Europe. No, but he has to say. He has to say he will negotiate. Of course he does. Uh, but in fact, it's going towards a no deal. I saw that Ivan Rogers uh, who is a famous EU negotiator. Well, he, he resigned and said he thinks it's heading yeah. towards no deal well, as well. He, he, he thinks it's going towards a no deal, and I think it is. But therefore, don't we in the national interest need to start having our next prime ministers actually talking openly about how they would handle no deal, which we're not getting? Well, I, I don't fear no deal. I've been a businessman more than half my life, and I think all the scare stories out of the, <coughs> out of the Treasury are ridiculous. I, I think there'll be a, a certain period of difficulty. It's not just the Treasury, it's the Bank of England. Well, well the Bank of England. The OECD. The, the Bank of England's now joined in yesterday IMF, saying yeah. uh, Article 24 uh, means that we have to have tariffs. And uh, I, I think that it's quite possible. I don't well, so really, the I, 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 Trade I've Secretary never really Leon believed Fox. that the German car manufacturers or the French winemakers well, want tariffs. But they don't want tariffs. But people have been saying this for three years and it hasn't, that argument has not shown any signs of gaining any ground in reality. Well, sorry, everything's up for discussion. There are uncertainties. Well, if, if, there's, if there's no deal, uh, then, then of course, there has to be a discussion about how to avoid tariffs, and there will be. I mean, the, well, Euro, you, the EU well, doesn't there won't want be, tariffs. Because if, if, there's no, if there's no deal, there'll be tariffs on day one. Well, the EU won't want tariffs. There may be tariffs on day one. On day two, uh, there'll be a discussion. The EU doesn't want tariffs any more than we want tariffs. Uh, I, I really think that, that then of course, people then raise the question of the parliamentary arithmetic. Why are people talking about the parliamentary arithmetic until the moment comes? The parliamentary arithmetic will, will, will take its own course. And I, well, the, re I, the reason people are talking about the parliamentary arithmetic is because <laughs> it's looking quite likely that there'll be a vote of confidence in the next Conservative Prime Minister before Halloween, before we leave. Yes, I, I, I accept that. But do you think Oliver Letwin and other Tory members, Tory members are going to want a, 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 a Labour government which will take us towards... Uh, but, they're, they're not but, going but, to I mean, want just it. Just for a moment, this well, is when a the terrible vote, choice. When the this vote is a terrible choice. What you're saying is the choice is either a socialist government under Jeremy Corbyn yes. or economic damage through leaving without a deal under Boris Johnson or, yeah, or exactly, Jeremy Hunt. Exactly. And the Oliver Letwins of this world are not going to vote uh, in, in, in a no-confidence deal for Jeremy Corbyn. They're not going to vote for Jeremy Corbyn. So when, yeah. when, when the moment comes... But Jeremy Corbyn uh, winning would presumably be the will of the people at that point. Why would it be the win of the people? Well, if he wins the election, Sorry, we're talking about the people, whether a vote it? of confidence would go through or not. I am saying that a vote of confidence yeah. wouldn't go no, through. But I, I'm saying the point of a vote of, uh, of, <clears throat> of winning a vote of confidence is to avoid a general election. And you're saying that could lead to uh, Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister. And I'm saying, well, in those circumstances, that would be the will of the people. Sorry, I think we're getting confused. I, I'm saying that I don't think Jeremy Corbyn would win the vote of confidence because I think in no. the end the Tory party would come together. Even people like Oliver Letwin don't want Jeremy Corbyn to become prime yes. minister of this country. Yeah, but never. your assumption is if this government falls that Jeremy Corbyn will become prime minister. 
Well, the government won't fall because uh, Jeremy Corbyn would, wouldn't win the vote of confidence. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but you're saying he might win a general election. Uh, no, I, 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 I don't think a general election will happen. I don't think it will happen because he won't win the vote of confidence. I think the Tory party will come together to prevent Corbyn. But if there was a general election, you think he might win it? Oh, it's conceivable he could. And yeah. that would be the will of the people, wouldn't it? Well, if the people vote for Jeremy Corbyn, yes. Yeah. But we, we won't get that far. We won't get that far. You're confident of that? Yes, perfectly confident. What about the, the, the character aspects uh, of uh, Boris Johnson? I mean, he's not a role model, is he? No, he's not a role model. Um, but I don't think it's going to be relevant in the vote of the, the members of the... I mean, I, I, if I'm anything, I suppose I'm a, a typical, average... Uh, Tory supporter, mm. and the average Tory supporter is not taking any notice of this press thing. And, and, and I do think one thing is, uh, you wrote a good article in the Sunday Times about Hunt. I, I, I think Hunt's rather a good man, as I say, make a good mm. foreign secretary, with all that implies for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I, I really don't think, frankly, that uh, Hunt is, is, is a serious candidate. We've got to get out. The country's being ruined by this delay. And, and, and the delay must be brought to an end on the 31st of October, and Boris Johnson is the only man that'll do it. Hunt will get involved in a negotiation with the Europeans. It'll go on and on and on, and if for the future of the country, we have to get out of this. And where does this, this, this personal life business fit in? I mean, we think back to your yeah. era yeah. in Cabinet, Cecil Parkinson mm -hmm. resigned uh, yeah. after an affair and, and having a child. I mean, I mean what, yeah. what are the rules as far as you're concerned? Well, I don't think there are any rules about whether or not you can have a row with your girlfriend. If, if, if you're suggesting that a row with Boris's girlfriend uh, is a constitutional issue of huge importance, I just simply don't agree. No, it's just the embarrassment of having the police there it, and all it, the rest it, of it. Yes, but the, uh, if your next-door neighbour uh, tapes what goes on in your house... Of course uh, they can hear it uh, coming they, through the no, walls. No, no, they taped it. And, and, and that, in my view, is a criminal offence. How, how can you have neighbours taping each other's conversations in the well, next-door flat? So, it's a disgrace. So you're, you're saying <coughs> that if you're worried that there might be domestic abuse, someone might be in danger next door, you shouldn't call the police? No, well, I mean, they, they say they went and knocked on the door and the door wasn't answered. I, I don't believe that. I don't think they did knock on the you door. You think they're lying? Come on, you don't want me to get, make, make a statement like that. I don't know whether they're lying or not. You said you don't believe them. Well, I, all I know is that the door, the door was not answered. Yeah. But I want to come down to, <coughs> want to come down to the principle because I think this is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you saying that if you think there is something going on in private between the people next door, which could lead to abuse of some kind, that you shouldn't report it to the police? But these people are politically motivated. They admit they were politically motivated. They say they're left-wing they supporters they like and they're Boris Johnson. politically they're not, motivated. They're not, they're not saying they reported Anyhow. it to damage him. Uh, and, and I come back to the point. Are you saying that, in your view, it is not legitimate to report something if you are concerned that abuse may be taking place next door? It depends on the motive. Really? Yes, depends on the motive. If you hear a row going on next door, you don't call the police unless you have very strong evidence that something what? serious is what? happening. So hypothetically, if I'm a Brexiteer what? What? and my neighbour's a Brexiteer and I think he might be beating up my wife, I don't report it. Whereas if I'm a Remainer and I do report it, I'm politically motivated. What I mean, we do this know is, this is, is that very the, difficult. What we do know is that it? these people recorded recorded this thing and then gave it to the Guardian. Are you suggesting that that well, was an above-board well, move? I'm suggesting that if they hadn't recorded it, people might be accusing them of making the whole thing up. Well, I don't, I don't accept that argument. Why not? Anyhow, these people aren't important. The important thing is to get us out of Europe on the 31st you see, of October. This is the point. That, that, so, that so is, nothing that, else that, matters. No, 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 well, no, of course, I can't say, no, I didn't say nothing else matters. You said nothing else well, matters. I'm asking you. you I'm, I'm asking you. No, I, of course other things matter. But the fact that, that, that the flat was taped by the next door left wing, left wing things is it, just evidence that the whole thing was politically motivated. I, really? I, I, yes, of course. Well, so you're saying you're, you think there was a conspiracy well, why, why here? did they give it to The Guardian? Well, but, uh, you know, because they, they wanted to support their story. Anyhow, what I'm interested in is not whether Boris 
has a row with his girlfriend or not. I'm interested in which man is most likely to get us out of the European on the 31st yeah. of October. And I'm supporting Boris because I think he's yeah. a more substantial figure than Hunt. But I think you'd probably have to agree these are pretty debased political times in which we live in, aren't they? They're not really happy, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Sir John Knott, thank, thank you very thank much you indeed. So much. Thank you.